Hello, so today we're looking at a 240 volt, 500 watt heated bed for a 3D printer and also modifying a MHD1410 temperature controller to take the NTC um, 100K thermistor that's embedded in this heated bed. So as you can see, heated bed with the power and the NTC thermistor wires. Uh, so what we're going to do is probably, um, this has got double sided sticky on the back, so you stick it to the glass and then I'll need to mount it on a piece of acrylic, I think. Uh, but it's not quite flat because of that thermistor, so I need to figure that out, but anyway, crack on. Uh, this is the controller, so um, these are all eBay specials and we need to wire up the thermistor to the sensor on the back of the controller. That's uh, 240 volt. Um, item and uh, like I say the uh, heaters are 240 volt 500 watts so there's plenty of power got these things all off eBay as you can see not a lot of money uh, the glass is probably and the heater mount are the most expensive things and this is the thermistor that came with the thing with the temperature controller unfortunately that one runs at 10k so the temperature controller is set up to work with a 10k thermistor and the heated bed, uh, which is common with um, most 3D printers, is actually got a 100K thermistor. So what's that mean? Well, it basically means that uh, they're not compatible. So I need to do something um, to make sure that the temperature controller works. So we need to do a bit of maths here. You know, basically what the um, temperature controller does is it uses what's called a Wheatstone bridge which is um, basically you measure a voltage between two resistors and because we've got thermistors those uh, one of those resistors will change in voltage so and it works basically um, this maths so I'll take you quickly through that so if you've got a voltage the center voltage there uh, between the two resistors, resistors um, the output voltage is uh, a function of the two resistors and the function is that basically it's uh, equivalent to the ratio of the first resistor divided by the total resistance. So the reference voltage times, uh, so let's label these up. So this is uh, call that R1 and call that R2. So it's V ref is R1 over the sum of R1 and R2. So let's pick some values. So the original um, uh, controller had a 10K uh, thermistor. So let's say 10K and 10K. Um, so that should give us a voltage half the way across. Uh, oops, get rid of that. So if we said we've got 10 volts to start with and you've got 10K over 10 plus 10K, which is 20K then you've got, that's basically a half, or the answer is five volts. Okay, so um, if we look at that, then if I need to work with a 100K thermistor, then I'm guessing I'm gonna need 100K inside the controller and uh, 100K on the thermistor. And that will give me the same answer. So now we need to figure out get inside the controller and see what's going on so um, this is the controller you can see we've got um, standard connections on the back um, I need to get inside uh, so these little tabs are here if you pop them up I did break those but I'll just take it back when I'm finished so once we're inside the unit you can see there's some um, sensor connections, a heating and a cooling connection for the relay and uh, 240 volt um, connection terminals to bring the power in. Um, I multimetered around a bit and looked for a 10k resistor and there was R5 so if we replace that with 100k and that was uh, connected to one of the uh, sides of the sensor. Um, so uh, I did that, soldered on a new resistor and um, close the unit up by just popping it back together and give it all a quick test. So I wired it up. Um, you can see the uh, little red heating light is on and it's coming up to temperature. I set this to 60, it goes off. Uh, put my hand on the mat and it seems to heat and cool. It's about 60 degrees, I'll check it properly later, but you can trim that in the controller. 
so it all seems to be working and um, really happy to be honest uh, so yeah so if you enjoyed that please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more stuff in the future cheers